Hi, my name's Mark, one of the pastors here at Trillium. I was reading an article uh, recently about pharmacological medication, and, and it was about medication adherence, or what I would call user compliance. It says this, medication adherence can have a more direct impact on patient outcomes than the specific treatment itself. And what, what that means in specific terms is you can have the best drug in the world, but if you don't follow the prescription directions, it, may, it won't have as good an effect as you might think. In fact, you'd be better to have an inferior drug that is actually applied correctly than the best drug in the world that's not used in the way that it's supposed to be used. And, and it got me thinking about how, how challenging it is to follow prescription instructions. And not just with medication, and I'm thinking about just generally in life. I think most of the time we know what to do, we know what needs to get done in our lives, but we find it hard to actually do it. I was in this article of, about medication adherence, they were saying that for a drug to be, a typical drug to be effective, it has to have an 80% compliance rate, which means that say in a typical week of, of taking a single pill, you need to take it six out of seven days in that week. Yet most people have a 50% compliance rate, which means taking the drug every second day. And as you can see, the, the effectiveness of that drug is greatly diminished by not uh, fulfilling the terms of the prescription, taking it daily. And, and, and as they say, this happens not just in uh, medication, but in life generally speaking. I remember when I was studying piano, my piano teacher said to me, practice 15 minutes a day, not one and, one and a half hours, once one day a week. You're better off practicing 15 minutes each day than trying to cram it all into one day. And, and that principle applies itself out to so many other facets of life. And it got me thinking that pretty much everything that matters to me, matters to me personally, is more like running a marathon than a sprint. It's, it's looking at the big picture and having the patience and perspective to see something work itself out over a long period of time rather than just being focused on, on, on that particular moment. And that's particularly hard for me because I got brought up in the immediate gratification culture, you know, the, the culture that wants everything now in this moment, uh, wants you know, the knowledge and, and wisdom and experience all in this moment. You know, you want a great marriage? Well, great marriages often take a long period of time to work it themselves out. It's kind of like running the marathon with another person. Yeah, and in the culture we're living in today, people want it today, now. If it's not there, they're not interested. They don't have any hope or even belief that it could happen. And, 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 and not just in our relationships, you know, as they say, in, in learning something important to us or, or developing a practice around our health. Like going to the gym three or four times a week just to stay healthy, that's hard to do. Unless you, you were able to build in that marathon perspective that sees the big picture. You know, when we follow Jesus, he's really calling us to a life, a, a spiritual life as, as one of marathon. Uh, of joining with our creator who has the ultimate marathon perspective with us, which is eternity. I mean, the promise of, of, of the Gospels is that um, God is is running the marathon with us with, with almost inexhaustible uh, endurance, with, with that fortitude and strength that will never be ultimately exhausted in any way. And, 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 it, and it's almost as if God is the great physician who writes us the ultimate prescription for life, which is to join with God in embracing a, a marathon perspective. You know, in the Old Testament, there are 613 commandments or instructions given to people. It's like the prescription has many, many, many fine points to it. You read down the list, it just keeps going on forever and ever. Thankfully, Jesus uh, simplified it down to one. One commandment. Love. Love God with all your heart, strength, soul, and mind. Love your neighbor as yourself. Or some other variation. L love is the central expression of the prescription that God writes for us called to walk and run the marathon of love with each other in the world. That's where we'll find our meaning and our purpose. That's where we'll discover the truth about who we really are. I, I want to join God in the marathon. I I'm going to join the God in the marathon. I'm going to embrace the marathon perspective with people I meet in my life, with my wife, with my family, with the neighbors, even with the stranger. I want to run the marathon of love.